Hi, I'm Meena. Welcome to another lesson on skill acts. Boys don't cry. South Indians are dark. Girls can't be soldiers. What do you think of these statements? These are examples of stigma, stereotypes, prejudice or negative beliefs that you think are true about a person or group and discrimination, actions against a person or group due to prejudice. They result in tense surroundings and even mental health issues. Thankfully, today, we are more aware and most of us, most of the time, don't believe any of these statements to be true. Prejudice is a burden that confuses the past, threatens the future and renders the present inaccessible. Maya Angelou, an American poet, has said, Let's discuss three things today. What is prejudice? How can we overcome our biases? And how can we cope with it when we are at the receiving end of it? Now, definition of prejudice is defined as prejudgment of others. Prejudice is a baseless and usually negative attitude towards members of a group. It can have a strong influence on how people behave and interact with others, particularly with those who are different from us. It can sour relationships, both personal and professional. Common features of prejudice include negative feelings, stereotyped beliefs, and a tendency to discriminate against members of any group. First, let's discuss how to overcome prejudice. Acknowledge your own biases and prejudices. Actively replace them with more reasonable alternatives. For example, if you think something stereotypical about a certain gender, religion, culture or race. For example, that teenagers are lazy, women are moody. Remind yourself that this is a bias against a group and that you are overgeneralizing. When you hold prejudice towards others, you will tend to view everyone who everyone with similar beliefs and characteristics as being the same, the you versus me. You fail to really look at each person as a unique individual. Next, recognize the negative effects of prejudice. In order to reduce prejudice or bias in yourself, identify and understand the effects that your biases can have on others. Those who are dealing with prejudice and discrimination against them may develop low self-esteem and depression. Remember, your biases against others can lead to dire consequences for these individuals. Another point, increase social connection. Surround yourself with a variety of people. When we really get to know someone, we stop judging and start listening and learning about them. Expose yourself to different races, cultures, sexual orientations and religions. Diversity is a factor that can break down prejudice and help you accept the variety that exists in this world. One way to do this is to travel to another country or even town. Every small city has its own culture, food, traditions and activities. People in the city have different experiences than people in the villages. Isn't that so? Read. Reading about diverse people helps in reducing any bias you may have towards other groups. Avoid justifying stereotypes when interacting with others. We have all heard stereotypes like Asians are smart, women are bad drivers, Chinese are shrewd, etc. Prejudice occurs when previously held ideas are justified through some experience and are sometimes seen as socially acceptable. One way to avoid justifying stereotypes is to disagree with people when they make a stereotypical comment. For example, if your friend says women are terrible drivers, you can counter your friend's stereotype by gently confronting them by saying something like, that's a negative stereotype. You may not have seen good drivers. I have seen many. Next, let's discuss coping with prejudice of others. Be open and accept yourself. When we feel threatened by prejudice, we may want to hide ourselves from the world so that no more harm can be done to us. Hiding and concealing your identity may be a self-protective measure, but it increases stress and negative reactions. Know who you are and accept yourself regardless of what you believe others think about you. Identify who you can trust with your personal information and be open around them. Get family support. If you have experienced prejudice or discrimination, 
social support can be crucial in coming to terms with these issues and healing yourself. Talk with your close family or friends about the injustice you have experienced. It will help reduce the negative effects of prejudice. Join a group. Group solidarity can help people be more resilient against prejudice and protect against mental stress. It will be especially helpful if you join a group that matches your uniqueness, such as a women's group, LGBT group, religion-based group, etc. It will help you emotionally be less angry and more in control in the face of such prejudice. Get involved. Being active in reducing prejudice can help give you a sense of purpose in making a difference. You could become an advocate or volunteer at an organization which aims to reduce prejudice and discrimination. Expect a positive or neutral outcome. Not easy. If you have experienced prejudice or discrimination in the past, it is understandable that you would be wary of experiencing this again. Try to look at each situation and interaction as a new experience. Expecting that others will be prejudiced against you can become a prejudice in itself. You are prejudging others. Try not to generalize and label others. Stay positive and expect better. How do you cope in a healthy and creative manner? Being aggressive or confronting others are negative ways of coping with prejudice. Instead of sacrificing your values and peace of mind, cope with prejudice in ways to release or process your emotions. Express yourself by writing a journal. Use art, dance, music, sports, anything that is creative. It all comes down to treat others as you would like to be treated. Be open and wise. Good luck to you. Did you like this video? Do like and share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel, Skillax. Thank you and bye for now.